What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? It's Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys, got a couple announcements for you. Um, we will be doing a Google Plus broadcast this Saturday night at 9. I believe it's 9. If it's 8, I'll definitely let you guys know because I always give you guys an official video um, you know, letting you know we do, uh, we are going to have it. So, um, I talked to Peter, I'm going to have him on board as, uh, uh, as well, uh, again. Um, and because, you know, everybody seemed to enjoy that. We had a great conversation there. Um, it's just, uh, I like the idea of having a couple brains on there at the same time. Um, uh, we're going to try to share different ideas and, you know, different things that are going on with NASA and these photos, as well as all the questions we take from you guys, which is awesome. Thanks for doing that as, uh, by the way. Um, the other thing is too, I don't know if you guys seen my, my latest video, it's called, uh, the lunar wave exposed. And if you guys haven't seen it for some reason, this is what's goofy. I use screen matic and you can see it right here. Screen matic I used it on to upload this video cause I wanted to do it live. As you can see, you can see me here in this video. And for some reason it put it up to my Chris M and you can see it right here. Chris M. I actually set this one up before I did the, uh, Mars anomalies. And I said, oh, I'm not going to use that. And somehow I just left it and that was the end of that. But for some reason, it, it uploaded to this. So, which is still fine. I mean, it's, it, that, you know, it's no big deal. But as you can see, this has been since April 9th. So not a whole lot of you had seen this. And I got 74 views. And you guys know I get a lot more views than that. And just to make it clear, this video is not monetized. It's not because it was up on this particular channel and I didn't set up for any monetization on here. So that's why it's not monetized. And I don't care. I could care less. Um... But I want you guys to check that out. I'll leave the link to it. Or you can just go just put type in the box up here at the top. Just put Chris M channel. And it's the only video that's on this particular channel. So uh, have a look at it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Guys, it's getting crazy with this lunar wave. I told you I'd be checking this thing out. Uh, I've been looking into it. This, that. I'm not trying to shoot Crow down. It's just the idea of what he's got. You know, it's just absolute, uh, it's getting to the point, it's getting ludicrous. I mean, let's just put it that way. Um, just check the video out. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, and, you know, that's going to be one of the things that's going to be also on the Google+. Plus. We're going to uh, talk about that a little bit and uh, see what you guys think, too. Just get your thoughts on it. Um, I like what he's doing. I respect the man. Listen, I respect anybody who's trying to put many man hours behind a telescope a computer or whatever and trying to find the truth i don't you know i respect him for that because i love the idea of um just just watching the moon i can't do it um and most people can't they don't have a telescope but that's going to be different in the near future i want to end up buying my own if i can i want to look into that if i can get something cheap for now for something like a four or five hundred dollar bill that's fine i'll go ahead and just get anything as a starter scope if i can um, as you notice, I, if I can, I'm going to just take the money in my own pockets. I don't, I'm not begging you guys to do it, to help me out. Uh, some of you guys actually said, Hey, if you, if you're looking to do it, let me know. I'll, I'll be more than happy to jump on board, you know? So, um, which is greatly appreciated, but, um, you know, it's like I said, I'd love to get one, um, and get my own shots. If I can, I don't trust a thing NASA has as far as their moon, uh, pictures, um, I mean, a lot of people can look at them and just scrutinize them and see they've been fudged out, pixelated out, so on and so forth. But anyway, you can check this video out. You'll see the link in the bottom or just check it out. Like I said, just just look it up. Just put up in the, the search bar here. Just put Chris M. Channel. And this should be the only video that's that's there. Um, and you'll see my views about it and uh, what I think. Um, so check that out when you get a chance. All right. Here's, let's just jump right to Sol 952. Um, and I think we're up to five, no, I'm sorry, five, 955. I think we're up to 955, 956 by now, but check this picture out. I thought this is really bizarre. Um, and you, as you can see now, this is from NASA. This is on the NASA site, nasa.gov, 952. Um, and it's on the nav cam. So when you look at this, the first thing that popped out to me, guys, now forget about the browns. I always tell people, forget about the dark areas, forget about it, but check this out. What does this up at the top? You can see a faint line going across. And I don't know if it actually continues on and goes over here, but you can see this nice edge going down. What top of a mountain or, or anything has that, have you guys ever seen do that? It's the white areas that are actually the the objects. I'm going to use the term objects. You know, people have told me, well, you got pareidolia. Although I hate the word, it's, it's it, you know, by definition, I do have it. I mean, I always tell people, look, I look, I know what I see here on Earth, and I relate it to, oh, I describe what I see in these pictures you know, what things I remember, or oh, I know that's on Earth. So I guess if you want to call it by definition, it is pareidolia. Okay, I got it. So I don't have a problem with that. I just think the word's goofy as hell, but whatever. Um, because, and here's the thing too, here's, you know, to add to that, we don't know what these objects are. You know, people say, well, you see a bunny in the clouds, it's pareidolia. Yeah, I know, but a lot of times I don't even know what these things are when I see them. 
if it's a shape that's out of the ordinary, instead of like a, like like here's a rock in the foreground, at least it looks like a rock. Let's call these rocks in the foreground, and that's what they look appear to be. Okay, I'm not going to call them a candle. I'm not going to call them anything else because that's not how I see them. I see them as rocks. So that's not pareidolia. That's a rock. Now, when you see these other shapes like this here, how is that pareidolia? How does that look normal to you? If you were to take all of this brown junk off, you would see something white with a nice, intelligently made shape. And you can still see it faintly right here to this piece. Now, here's another thing that's pretty cool. I don't know if I can zoom any more than this. I guess I can. Um, right here, if you look right here with my cursor, there's a little plus sign. It looks like, you remember when, like, when you were younger, you made these paper airplanes and you would just throw them around? It looks like the back side of one. You can see it looks like a triangular shape right here. See the line of it? Goes down, comes up around, and then goes back over again. And it's got like a like an airbrushing over it. That's not the only This whole thing is covered what looks like intelligently made objects, structures. Call them what you will. I don't know what they are. All I can say is these objects. Simple as that. Um, and then I let you guys take over and say, uh, you know, have at it. What do you guys think? Get the picture yourself. Download it. Tell me what you think. Um, and like I said, because I've done these announcements and so on and so forth, I'm not going to make this video super, uh, super long for you guys. So this way you can uh, check it out yourselves. Um, now, when you go back, you can see it clearly is from NASA JPL. There you go. So it's not made up picture. Here it is. Um, you'll get the link as always. You guys know I always leave the link in the bottom. Okay, let's have a look at it in Photoshop. Okay, same picture as you can see, and you can see right here. Well, it's the way it's described. It's not the, anyway, it, that's not the whole, <laughs> but you'll see it anyway. Uh, you can see that it looks just like this. So let's do this because I want to show you this, and I'm going to jump right into a couple of these frames. Right off the bat, when I seen this here, I thought, looks like a pipe. Now people go, well, it doesn't. Well, you're right. Because it's grainy, and if you were just to move in in this picture, the grainier it gets. It degrades. So you get a lot of uh, photo degradation, and that's the problem. Is it because these pictures are smaller to begin with, then they just enlarge them for the, uh, for the public, and then they look all pixelated? This is the reason why I put a little blur and try to see if we can find anything. Okay. With that in mind, let's do that. Let's see if we can find anything of any value in here. Okay. First thing I said, like I said, it looks like some kind of weird pipe. See that? And it actually looks like something's coming out of it and it's being puddled up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but see it coming down? It looks like it's got an opening. It looks like it's coming down. Now, I'm not sure that's what it is, but regardless. Again, you can see this other object on the top going all the way down and tilting down. And then it, you can see something else right here. It almost looks like another pipe. There's one that looks like it comes off here. One that comes off here. And so on and so forth. Okay. This is the area I was telling you guys about right here. In fact, let's use the old hand. Or oh, we can actually use more of a pointer. We'll use the uh, the dropper here. Right here, you can actually see what it looks like. It goes like this here. Stops. Goes over to here and comes down. And it looks like it has this line going up. And it looks right here where it starts to have this kind of like turns in right there. Okay. Now, I've got this real dog. Let's jump it up a little bit. Okay. You start to see a little bit better. You can start to see the lines more. Look at this. Now it has this rounded piece right there. goes across. It looks like one, two, one, two, and there's something else right here. And you can start to see what looks like something in the background. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you can see like 90 degree angles, so on and so forth. I'm going, okay, let's, let's go a little further, lighten it up a little bit so we can bring out some of these more details if we can. Um, okay, so now put a slight blur into this, and guess what? These things don't look exactly naturally forming. At least to me, they don't. Now, I don't know what they are. I'm not calling it a bunny. I'm not calling it anything specific. I'm just saying I don't know what this object is. It looks intelligently made. Now, you can see in the background, it looks like some kind of weird structure and things coming down. Or object, structure. These things have been buried. There's one, two, three. It looks like in a row or something laying there. I don't know what that is. But as you can see, check this out. When you see this rounded area... See this a little bit better now? It's got this whole white area, and it's, it's literally going like this, nice and smooth, nice smooth edge going up into this mess. And when you look at this, you go, okay, I'm um, not really seeing exactly like a certain particular structure, but check how this is, you get the, again, this rounded area, but yet half of it right here is all dark. This is light. Why is that whole area being half it blotched out and half not? Well, that's my point. So what I try to do is try to lighten these things up and try to bring it out a little bit better. And that's you can see it got a little bit lighter right here in this area and you know, so on and so forth. See it? So I'm trying to bring out these objects or whatever these things are laying here that's being covered up. Now, 
Let me do this. And just So what I did was I threw a little shop in here so we can get rid of some of the blur. And you can see by looking in the background here, there's something clearly here. Or some things of some kind of value. It's, it's intelligently made. It's not... These things are not in any way, shape, or form just natural occurring rocks. I don't believe that. I don't buy that. Again, with this other piece up here and what looks like that pipe coming off right here. Now... What I do is I whitened everything up so we can s try to make this stuff pop a little bit more for you guys. And you can see it's not a whole lot more different other than just being slightly blurred and then putting... This is an object. is one, two, three. looks like objects. This whole object, all of this in here, you can see. I don't know if it's all one object, to be honest with you guys, because you can see like right here, right here. It looks like it has an edge right there. See that? Like this one does. This one's got an edge. This one actually looks like it has an edge to it. So what I do is anyways, I still brighten up all of it. Like this other object, I said, look like one of these little paper planes you can throw around. But let me just go ahead and lighten this up. And you can see now what looks like something. And although it's blurred out, I'm trying to get rid of some of the pixelation. I know it blurs it up, and I'm, you know I apologize for that. But somehow these things do not look like they're naturally occurring. There's intelligently made things here. And I can go back and get rid of this white stuff. You know, this white... Uh, contrasting and you can still see that there's individual one two three again one two three pieces another 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 they're all laying on the ground here s sitting right here whatever this stuff is to me in my eyes this is not and will says it best he says i see what i see you see what you see now i'm okay i'm looking all right and you can see what looks like something's coming down from the background, coming over here. And it might actually keep going, but because it kind of looks like it has this faded line, like a blurred out line there. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that right there? Looks like it continues on. Looks like it has this weird shape coming down. It's thick right from here to here. And it comes down. So I don't know what that is, but clearly there's something being hidden here. It is not just simple rock. And I try to explain that to people just to give them an idea. Now, again, here's the cleared up area. And there you go. That's the finished product. Now, as you can see, really, really pixelated and degraded picture. Now, once you start to go over this with, your, with the tools to try to get to bring out lines um, and details out of this, it, the picture does turn darker. I mean, it's going to do that because you're trying to bring out these, uh, the lines themselves. I don't care about what, what they are. I've told you guys before, I, said, I don't care if you call these, thing, call these things bathtubs for all I care. You know, the lines are lines. They're shapes. They're there. And if you try to find the whole line, which I try to find in this white area, you can see that it's not just a simple rock. And I blasted through a lot of this stuff to try to bring out what's really here. And you can see, because that's darker in this upper pot here, I try to bring it out. And you can start to see now there's actual shape in that. What is it? You guys, as always, guys, look at the picture yourself. And tell me what you guys think it is. Um, and yeah. To me, I'm not, I'm not seeing just standard rock. I'm not seeing just boulders laying around. And this is part of a... Uh, you can go to the next one, too. I mean, there's, there's more than one picture of this area. And if you keep going across, I think it goes like another two frames to this whole area. Uh, but this one, to me, was the most interesting. And this is, again, the top left corner is what caught my eye. Because I could see something clearly that's not... It looks like it's got a 90-degree an uh, angle or a corner, per se. And it just goes down. What the hell? I mean, you know, what, what's doing that? But you guys get the last say. You guys analyze the picture. I know you guys are hardcore in this, and that's what I love about you guys. You know, some of you guys are just like, boom, you're on this stuff, and uh, and you just come up with your own thing. Maybe I'm seeing things differently. Maybe I'm not seeing a what looks like a like a pipe sitting right here. But it looks like there's one there. One looks like it's overlapping. You see it just coming up over the top of that one, and there's something clearly going down into here. See that right there? And it looks like it's got one, two, three lines, four, and it looks like it's going down into this area. I, I don't know. I mean, I blurred it for a reason to get rid of some more of that, uh, that pixelation and that, you know, any kind of artifacts in the picture. But, so it is quite blurry, and I get that. But, again, you know, I'm just trying to show the different pieces laying around in here. And they, you know, again, give me your take, guys. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I'm not going to make this super long. I don't want to do that. I just wanted to uh, pass along um, that video, like I said, the Lunar Wave. Uh, check that out when you get a chance. Um, I, again, guys, I mean, I, I, you got to be truthful. You got to be... You know, the idea is to find the truth, and that's what it's all about. Um, I don't care what video it is. I try to do this, the, tell you guys the truth on this my channel itself and what I see, and then I give you, give, uh, hand it over to you guys, so to speak, and let you analyze it, and you tell me what you think. Um, some guys see something totally different. I go, whoa, I never even seen that. So, like I said, you got a lot of you guys are hardcore. That's what I love about uh, my subscribers. 
And then again, the Google Plus uh, broadcast, I'm going to have Peter on board again, also known as Space Cadet. You guys uh, know him well, uh, who's been following me. And again, have this picture. Uh, look at the Psalm 952. You'll also get the link down in there uh, in the description box as well. So look for the links at the bottom in my description, and uh, there you go. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. I will see you guys if I don't make another video before the end of the week. Um, then I will definitely uh, see you and uh, answer your questions and see you on the broadcast. Anyway, guys, peace. Talk to you then.